What's going on, people? Our gnome here, or the retro gnome, if you're just tuning in on the second part of my Let's Play commentary for Pokemon Sapphire, the first Pokemon game for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, so I go into the Pokemon Center so I can get a save spot. Uh, it takes forever, uh, but if I black out after a fight in May, which I probably do. Wait, she says, thank you for waiting. There's no one in line. We hope to see you again. And is she, does she really want me to lose my battles? She's an asshole. Everybody in this game is an asshole. To prove my point, I come back to talk to this guy that won't let me continue the game so I don't have to fight Mei because he discovered a rare Pokemon's freaking footprint. But I don't remember seeing him later on in the game. Maybe someone else has, but I don't remember seeing him anywhere else in the game. I digress. So we're heading up north here on Route 103 to go fight May, but uh, I run into a Pokemon, and my rule is I always fight the Pokemon that I run into unless I'm looking for a specific Pokemon, and I always try to battle every trainer I see just to level up faster. Uh, so I kind of kicked this Zigzagoon's ass uh, with Scratch, which apparently is possible for me to beat up a Pokemon with just scratching it. Um, question of the day. Where do Zigzagoons or any other Pokemon go when they die? Well, I mean, when they faint. Did they actually die? I don't see anyone coming around scooping them up and then bringing them to the Pokemon Center. I'm pretty sure Pokemon die. Yeah, awkward. Um, so, I finally take him out with the scratch uh, after like 20 times. And he fainted. Awesome. I love beating up Pokemon in the morning. It just makes me, oh, it makes me feel good. Alright, so we're going up north on Route 103. May's up here just staring at a wall because apparently her family is a group of cross-dressing retards. Uh, she says she found me the gift. Let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. What an asshole. I already fought a Poochina and a Zigzagoon in the last two series. Do you really think I'm not a trainer yet? And then she pulls out a level 5 Mudkip. I, being the absolute retard, did not realize that I didn't have a lot of health after that Zigzagoon fight. Zigzagoon? Whatever. Fight. And she crits me. I'm pretty sure she crits you every single time. I, I, it's happened to me quite a few times whenever I've started a game. Pretty sure it's an automatic thing on that one. Critting only happens, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, like 0.04% of the time. So that's some bullshit. Um, so I head back up here and I'm ready to kick some ass. Uh, back on Route 103. I'm going to drill it into your head because I never paid attention to uh, these sort of things. Uh, I might have just ran away from this fight. I can't remember. We'll see in a second. Oh no, I, I beat the shit out of that Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, Like Marky Mark would say. Do you feel that? Oh, me too. Alright. Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg, when he was rapping. I digress some more. That's a common thing. I digress into personal or unrelated stories. Which can sometimes, in a Venn diagram, be the middle. Alright. So my attack fell. He doesn't really hit me once. So that kind of saved me a lot of energy from running back to the Pokemon Center like a little bitch. So I didn't have to lose another fight. Uh, so I go up to her and I'm like, hey baby, what's up? And then she's just like, OCD, Rain Man, repeating everything she just said. I think there might be something wrong with her. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe she got hit in the face by like a Pokeball. Maybe balls to the face is a common theme. I don't know. I don't know her that well. I'm just sneaking up on her in a room and all that crap, if you didn't see the beginning. So, yeah, uh, I hit the scratch a couple times. Yeah, she tricks the tackle, and I'm like, oh, yeah, you want this? Oh, scratch. And then she's just like, oh, you want that tackle? And it's getting really close. Uh, she probably has about five or four HP left. I have about six. So if I missed that, I would have been screwed. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, I kept fainted. Um, another important thing that you might not realize is that your speed of your attack seems to be always higher than the other trainer's Pokemon. Um, if you didn't never realize that, boom, there you go. I'm just trolling at 10.34 a.m. on a Tuesday 
222-211. If you didn't realize, 222, two, two, and then you multiply the 2 in 2011 times the 11, and you get 22. Whoa, you didn't see that coming. Uh, I try to avoid her on that. She wants to hurry home. Apparently, I live with her now. She's moving a little too fast for me after she kicked my ass once. Um, so I come home. I don't really want to be home at this point. Uh, my mom basically hates me. She kicked me out of the house. I'm only probably like 12 years old in this game. I'm actually 17. Uh, wait, what? I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. As you all probably saw, I lost that first battle. So that's some bullshit. Um, so I received the Pokédex. Awesome. I'm actually kind of obsessed with Pokémon when it comes to catching Pokémon. I love catching a Pokémon as many as I can. Um, a major flaw in the old Pokémon was that if you caught a Pokémon, it did not show the little Pokéball after you caught them to show that you did catch them. And like, oh, she gives you five Pokéballs. Anyway, I put it in my bag that can hold a bicycle apparently. More on that later. Um. So, yeah, that's a major improvement on the game that you can, it actually shows the symbol of when you catch a Pokemon. I accidentally enter and exit the room, but I wanted to talk to this guy. He avoids me again like an asshole. He tries to explain more things to me, but I just blow him off afterwards. Not in the, no, I didn't actually blow him. Whatever. So, yeah, that's a major improvement in the game. I'll show that later on. My mom's waiting for me. I always wanted to try and avoid her going around the house. I haven't been able to do that yet. Uh, so she basically compliments me and gives me the tools I need to run away from home, an accessory to murder if I kill someone with those shoes, which I probably won't, but that kid in the corner is really pissing me off, or the fat kid over there, I might just go full Silence of the Lambs on him and toss him in a hole. Uh, awkward. Um, so she basically tells me to run away from home, and she doesn't love me. So, yep, that's the end of this part two. Hope you like it, and yeah, peace out.